Hi, this is Tom Oden, University of Iowa. I'm going to show you how to fold the MA50 lens. Here you can see a, a three-piece acrylic lens which is coming in. and You can see that the haptic which had been tucked into the taco formed by the optic has been damaged. And so this is an example of how not to fold the lens. You really don't want to have these haptics in the middle of the optic. You have to be very careful. Here's the B cartridge, which is what you want to use for this large MA50 lens. Here's the lens as it comes out of the case. You can see it's right side up. But we're going to just confirm that it's right side up before we place it into the cartridge, which is filled with viscoelastic, in this case, OcuCoat. We're going to be very careful not to touch the central optic and we're going to try to get this lens to fold into a taco so that the two sides are coming up at us and the center of the optic is down in the cartridge so that the plunger can push it forward. Now you can see that it's moving forward nicely. The optic is forming this taco where you can see the flash as the two edges of the optic are coming towards you. Now we're going to take this trailing haptic and we're going to place it on the side of this knob and that way it will be protected by the plunger so that it won't get damaged. So now we're in good position with the haptic on the side of that knob. The leading haptic is coming out nice and straight. We're going to place this into the Monarch injector and we're going to click it into the little injector. And now watch as the plunger comes along the bottom of the cartridge. It goes into the viscoelastic and then it hits the optic of the lens and it pushes it forward. You can see how both the leading and the trailing haptics are not in the optic and are not being pushed on by the plunger. The leading haptic has come out nicely and it's in great position. Sometimes a Sinsky hook is used if that curls up on itself. Now you can see as the lens comes out you have to pay attention to the location of these haptics. You can see that now as the lens is coming forward it's been swung around in the simulation of the uh, deposition of the lens and then you swing the, the inserter around the other way as the optic just comes out to keep the lens flat. Well, it's very important with this lens to know how to insert it uh, into the cartridge and also to know how to insert it into the eye. Oftentimes these lenses are placed in times of stress and so it's a good idea to practice uh, as we have shown here uh, under the microscope. This is Tom Oden, University of Iowa. Thank you very much.